I suppose, in MLS this season, they you know, crew were able to really limit your chances. What made them so effective in the series? Uh, I think they did a pretty good job defensively, you know, especially in this game. They sat back pretty deep, and, uh, yeah, we thrive off of uh, creating turnovers in the middle of the field and, and turning those into chances right away, and so I think they were smarter in the way that they went about things. They didn't play their normal game of playing out of the back and playing on a wide open field, and so sitting back, they limited our chances, and they did a pretty good job. Do you guys think you had the game plan right for, for the second leg? Yeah, the game plan is the same every single game we played this season. We never changed anything. So, uh, look, we still created chances. We still put balls in the box, and, and we probably had more possession tonight and all that. So, um, look, the effort was there. The guys put in a ton of effort. I, I can't I can't be disappointed in the effort that we put out tonight. It's just disappointing not to get that second goal to put it in overtime. Sasha, considering the consistency, as you said, of the tactics all season long, uh, do you think it was a Columbus expected what was coming this week? Uh, for the I think everybody in the league knows what they're getting when they play against the Red Bulls, and that's our, our strength. Uh, teams are going to know what we're going to throw at them, but we still won the supporter shield. I think after four games this season, you could see what the Red Bulls were about. Um, so it's not like we're going to change our approach just based on a, a random opponent. So you look, the Columbus Columbus is a good team as well. They, they, they've got a good coach. They've got good players. They put together a couple of goals in the first game. That really made the difference. I know it's only it's been an hour since you've been eliminated, but is it possible to put things into perspective given the way that the season started and how far you guys have come with the Shield and all that? Yeah, that's uh, it, it's difficult, like you said, because it's only been a short amount of time. But I think if at the beginning of the season somebody would have told us, okay, uh, you guys are going to be the highest scoring team in the league, you guys are going to win the Supporter Shield, you guys are going to get to the conference finals and, and get yourselves close to the MLS Cup, I think everybody at Red Bull probably would have said, okay, that's a good season, we'll take that. So having said that, you know, it's still very disappointing to be knocked out. Um, as, as tired as I am and, and ready for a vacation, I wish the next season started tomorrow. I, I want to get back out there and uh, uh, I want us to win MLS Cup. That's why I was brought here. And then you can look at other things. You know, a guy like Matt Miazga this season has turned himself into a national team player. Uh, Mike Grella comes in as, as a relatively unknown guy to American supporters and, and is a guy that contributes every day in training and, and scores a ton of goals. Helps out the team in many ways, and then you know, for my first season, I, I guess I can't be too disappointed in the way things went um, overall for me personally. Uh, but yeah, still, we're so disappointed with the way it ended because we, we've got a great group of guys, and we felt like we were going to go all the way this year. You talked about like, all those players that have come in and done a good job. Jenny talked about how this is the first year of the process, and you yeah. guys showed you could attend the first year. Uh -huh. How important is it to keep as much of the court together as possible? And, and even though you know MLS with all the rules and offseason. Yeah. That's always important in MLS. So if you look back at all the teams that have done very well uh, over a four-year period, a five-year period, uh, I always went back to Salt Lake uh, six, seven years ago, the LA Galaxy, Seattle Sounders, now Columbus Crew in the last two years. They've had that consistency. They've had the same style. They have their identity. They've continued on with that. So I think we can only get better in our second season. So, I, yeah, I hope a lot of guys stick around. I, I hope we, we continue to grow uh, individually and collectively, and we're going to be better next season. Sasha, what was said when you guys got back Yeah, you know, Jesse didn't say much. There's not much to say at that point. Um, he just said that he was very proud of the team. And uh, I think we all should hold our heads high for the season that we've had. And uh, <laughs> I'd rather lose on this team than win on Columbus. Let's just say that. So uh, I'm, I'm very proud of my teammates, and I think we're all very proud of each other. Thank you, more. Yeah, I said earlier they just sat back really deep. That's not really their normal style. They like to play on an open field. They like to spread things out and play out of the back. And I think they know that we are going to make life difficult on them, so they just did their best job to try to limit their own mistakes out of the back and play the ball up the field and then drop deep. So you could see every time that we won the ball, they just dropped as deep as they possibly could and got as many numbers behind the ball. And then obviously it's very difficult to break a team down like that. So, you know, we didn't create enough clear cut chances uh, just by simply breaking them down late in the game. You know, we put balls in the box and with our big guys, we were able to create some some chances. Maybe we could have done that a little bit earlier. They didn't have Will Trapp in the, in the regular season. Uh, did he make a difference in these two games? Uh, he's a decent player. He, he moves the ball side to side pretty much and, and clogs up the field a little bit. But... Uh, 
I think the thing that's unique about Columbus and about the New York Red Bulls is that we we both teams have a system. And, and when you miss one guy, you put another guy in who knows his role. And that's why you saw a lot of guys that came off the bench this year, you know, Sal Zizzo, Connor Laid, guys like that, that stepped into a role. They learned that role, they knew that role, and they excelled. And so having Will Trapp in or out of the game, I think it's pretty much the same.